Hello, here we are with an unboxing of the Sony Xperia Z2. Now, if you've been following our YouTube channel or our blog, you'll have seen that we've already reviewed the Xperia Z2 because Sony provided us with a device prior to launch. So this is an unboxing video, so it's kind of out of sync uh, with the normal sort of pattern, if you like. So here is the retail packaging, very similar to uh, previous Xperia devices. So we can see on the front here, we've got included the digital noise cancelling uh, headset, the MDR NC31EM. So this is black in colour, and you can see here uh, that it has the GSM bands and the LTE bands. So it's 4G enabled, and the model number is D6503. If we take a look at the back of the packaging, as we'd expect, we've got a rundown of some of the key features, the triluminous display, X-Reality for mobile, 4K video recording, 20.7 megapixel camera, 2.3 gigahertz quad-core processor, IP5558 rating, 5.2 inch HD display, you get the picture. So let's actually unbox this and show you what you can expect in the box here then. So we're presented first of all with the phone itself, which we'll come back to in just a moment. We then get provided with a screen protector. So Sony have done away with the anti-shatter film on the Sony Xperia Z2, uh, which was designed to protect the screen if it cracked. So the glass on it is much smoother now, uh, but you do have the screen protector with the cloth included if you want to add that additional protection. Included in the box also is a three pin UK main stapter. You just push that up there to make that work. We've got uh, a USB port on the side of the adapter here, so you would connect in the provided USB cable to be able to actually charge the phone. So it's got standard USB on one end, micro USB on the other. This also allows you to connect uh, this phone to a computer or Mac if you choose. Also included is what many would know as a USB uh, on the go cable. So it's a micro USB connection at one end and a USB connection at the other. Um, so what you can do is you can use this for mass storage dri drives like thumb uh, drives and uh, hard drives for sharing content. But uh, one of the key features for including this in the box is uh, to use Xperia Transfer. And this allows you to easily move content from the likes of your iPhone if you're moving over to the Sony Xperia Z2 uh, for the first time. And then in the packaging here, we've got these premium headphones, uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. We've got the gold connection there, in-ear style. Let's just open these up and show you in a little bit more detail. So you've got some various sized earbuds there. There we've got the left and right earpieces and uh, Yep, that's them. They're going to give you much better sound than you would expect of headphones normally included in the box. And then finally, you've got documentation for Xperia Lounge, startup guide, important information, little documentation there for the headphones, FCC and uh, regulatory stuff there. So that is the box contents of the Xperia Z2. Okay, so here is the Z2 in all its glory. And the first thing we're presented with is the massive touchscreen. It's a 5.2 inch display, full HD, with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, so that's 424 PPI, so simply superb. Up at the top here, we've got the front-facing speaker. We also have one at the bottom as well. We were quite impressed with the overall quality of the speaker from the Z2. We've got the Sony logo. We've then got the front-facing camera there rated at 2.2 megapixels, so good for taking uh, your selfies. There's no sort of touch buttons or anything. That's all built into the software. It's hard to tell, but there is a little bit of a bezel on the left and right side and a bit on the top and bottom of the screen. On the bottom here, we've then got a lanyard sort of connector uh, in the bottom corner. This is something that Sony have on a lot of their devices and it's quite useful um, all the same. We've then got the microphones here in the center. 
On the right side of the device, we've got the dedicated camera key. So you can press and hold that to take pictures and that allows quick access to the camera when the screen is off. We've got the volume up and down key, which is quite small in comparison to a lot of uh, devices. And we normally find that on the left-hand side, but it's on the uh, right-hand side. We've then got the power button. We've got the micro SD memory card slot uh, just here. So we've got a cover over it because it's uh, an IP rated handset. So the memory card goes in there. On the top, we've got uh, another microphone and we've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there for connecting audio equipment to. On the left side of the device, we've got the magnetic charging pin. So this is so you can connect uh, the device to mains power without the need to open up the appropriate port covers. Uh, that can sit on the dock. There's an official dock, the DK36 dock, which will allow you to charge the phone up. Then we've got the cover up here, under which is the micro SIM card slot and also the micro USB port for charging. The micro USB port also has USB host uh, facility, so we've shown you that with the supplied cable. And it also has video out and it's MHL version 3.0, which means that's four, full 4K video out, which is exceptional. It's one of the only smartphones to allow this. On the back, We've got this kind of glossy, and you can already see it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet uh, back screen. We've got the Sony logo. We've got the NFC logo here. We've got the 20.7 megapixel camera uh, with Sony G lens flash, full HD video recording. There's 4K video recording on this as well. And there's a load of camera features on the device, which we'll touch on in a moment. We've got the Xperia branding just down here at the bottom. Uh, so that's the device itself. So we have already switched this device on and here we can see the screen uh, in its full glory. Now we're not going to go through every feature and function on this device because our full review which is linked below uh, includes all of that but you can get the idea a fairly straightforward Sony user interface experience. You've got the usual sort of customization here. You've got some nice features in terms of when you go into the app tray, slide across here to the, the left, and you've got different ways of organizing uh, your app tray, the order, which are most used, whether you search apps or uninstall them. Press and hold on the running apps key, and you'll see your recent apps, as well as these little mini apps, which uh, come up in windows like this and you can then move them around the, the screen but still use the device in the background so you can see I'm scrolling through the different home screens uh, but I'm able to use the calculator on top as well if I want and I can close that and move it all around so you've got all your Google services because this is running Android version 4.4 or KitKat straight out of the box with fairly light customization by Sony. They've included some of their apps such as Walkman, their album, their What's New, Social Life News, Sony Select. You've got uh, Sony's Video Unlimited and Music Unlimited, uh, Sony Smart Connect and Track ID. There's an FM radio, File Commander, Sketch, Pixlr Express. You've even got Garmin navigation uh, on here as well. And uh, you've got their TV remote um, application there as well. So quite a lot out of the box. Let's just quickly go into the settings and show you about the phone. So we can see here that it's uh, Android 4.4.2. So you've got that. Now, we haven't installed anything on this device. So let's just show you what we've got in terms of storage. So it's reading a total space of 11.57 gig. So there's 16 gig of internal storage on this device, of which 10.71 gig is available out of the box. So you've got 4G on here, you've got 3G, you've got the MHL3, you've got GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC. Under the back cover here, you have the battery, which is 3,200 milliamp hours, and it gives you a pretty good battery life um, all told. It's quite heavy, weighing in at 163 grams. It comes with a 24-month warranty, and of course it's IP rated. You can check out our full review for more details on that IP rating. Let's touch upon the camera, because this is one of the key features of this device. So let's launch into that here. Now we've covered uh, this in depth in our full review, but 
as you may expect with Sony devices, you've got a camera shutter button and you've got a video recording button. You've got various different shooting modes here. So superior auto is the main sort of mode, if you like, for taking pictures. But you've got more control in manual and it's in manual mode where you can take a full 20.7 megapixel shot. You've got 4K video, you've got AR effects, that's the augmented reality where you can get dinosaurs and things on screen. You've got time shift video, which uh, essentially is slow motion. That's uh, a bit of fun. Background defocus, which works pretty well. Uh, and I think personally better than uh, HTC's effects. Uh, you've got creative effects, which give you even more options. And you can see you've got info eye, uh, time shift burst. So that's very quick sh uh, shutter speed there for taking lots of photos in quick succession. Social live for streaming to Facebook, sweet panorama. And you can even add uh, more apps there if you've got an internet connection on the phone. You've got quite a lot of control over the settings, including the aspect ratio, uh, self timer, smile shutter, you've got control over the camera and video settings as well, and then you've got further settings such as uh, geotagging, touch to capture, so there's lots and lots of control and that's expanded further when you go into the manual mode, so uh, you've got further control over the white balance, whether the flash is on, which camera you're using, lots of controls uh, here. 4K video, you know, as it says, it's full 4K video resolution. Now, many people may argue you don't need this, but you can on this device record in 4K and also output it to an HD display in full 4K, which you can't do uh, on any other smartphone at the moment. So that's a quick overview there, really, of, of the camera app. So that is an unboxing of the Sony Xperia Z2. As we said, check out our full review uh, on the link below and that will give you our final opinions on this device which in a nutshell we're very impressed with. It's a good successor to the Xperia Z1 and uh, is a very interesting device for a lot of people. So that's our unboxing of the Sony Xperia Z2. Thanks for watching.